we've just finished reviewing the Lenovo Tab Pro 3 on Lenovo Check, and it got a score of 86%. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the device, some of the scores we got, and some of the pros and cons of the device. But first, a little bit of my opinion on this 10-inch Android device with a really nice screen, good resolution, uh, great battery life, and I like the speakers on the front as well. There is a kind of key feature on this one, built-in DLP projector, as you can see there. Now that works to give you an image of about that big from about two to three meters away. Although, having said that, in a completely dark room, you can get an image of about two meters wide and uh, for reasonable brightness for just sort of casual film watching. The resolution isn't that high, 480p on the projector. So this is nothing that will compete with a, uh, a high quality projector, but it's an interesting uh, and fun uh, projector element to this uh, Android tablet. There's an Intel Atom X5 inside this, and therefore it's an x86 powered uh, Android uh, tablet. But let's uh, quickly take a look around the uh, ports here for you. Uh, micro USB port for charging. There is an on-the-go support there, which allows you to add external drives. And I added a keyboard and mouse uh, to turn this into a mini netbook style uh, laptop as well. Power button there, volume rockers there. On the other side, there's the button. A long press of that will bring up the uh, projector um, dialog that allows you to switch the projector on. And there's a separate uh, headphone, sorry, a headset uh, port there. Charging is over USB 3 only. Uh, across the front there, there's some really, really nice uh, speakers. And there's that stand that allows you to go to, well, not all the way, because at some point it does actually tip back, but a reasonable level, uh, reasonable angle there. That can also be used for hanging the device as well. And this is where I think uh, kitchen use uh, is pretty, pretty nice. I think ideally this is going to be... Um, for someone that uses it at home, on the sofa, in the kitchen, uh, and going on holidays, weekends away as well. You can certainly add a Bluetooth keyboard to this and uh, get some posts done on the WordPress app, for example, or on the Microsoft Office uh, mobile apps. For all the specifications, go to our full review uh, at nobocheck.net. The full link is down the bottom. Uh, I want to mention a couple of performance uh, results for you now. First performance uh, test result I want to give you is the screen brightness. We measured 429 nits. That's a, a pretty good uh, brightness value. So you should be able to use this in the garden with no problem, as long as you keep it out of direct sunlight. Performance scores coming up now. And what we've got is a mid-range performing device. Actually, I found the startup and login process for the Tab 3 Pro pretty slow. But uh, in terms of Geekbench score, for example, 1,001 points, uh, 1001 points. it doesn't really compete with things like the iPad Air 2 or the Galaxy Tab S297 LTE. So it's a mid-range performer, enough for a good bit of web browsing and certainly to use most of the apps that are in the store, including most of the games. And one more performance uh, uh, score to give you, and that's on the internal disk, which is a, an important aspect of keeping a device fast. And we got a score of 153 0.72 megabytes per second on that. So there's three performance scores for you. Go to the review. We've got performance scores on gaming, on GPU performance scores, uh, and a lot more detail on that screen as well. So if you want to know more about the performance of the Lenovo Tab 3 Pro, go to the full review. The link is in the review notes, uh, sorry, in the show notes below the YouTube video. The last of the test results I want to give you is the battery runtime. Uh, and that's pretty good. There's a reasonable size of a battery uh, inside this part of the device here. And our battery runtime for Wi-Fi surfing, for example, was 9 hours and 18 minutes. So that's pretty good uh, battery runtime uh, for Wi-Fi surfing. And if you look at uh, video playback, so if you're thinking of using this on a seat back table on a flight, and this is absolutely perfect for that, you'll get a good 10 hours, maybe 11 hours out of this. And that's a nice screen. Uh, we did uh, did that test at 150 nits brightness, so that's a low, medium low uh, brightness for most uh, room settings, acceptable. But uh, 10 hours and 44 minutes, pretty good. Now let me run through you through our important pros and cons uh, from our review on notebookcheck.net. 
There's a reasonably fast uh, SOC, that's the processor inside this, an integrated projector, well that has some useful cases and some fun cases as well. There's a good build quality, uh, you can use any metallic object as a pen on this. Now be careful, obviously a ballpoint pen would work on this, but do be careful what metallic objects you use on it. Uh, but in theory, any metallic object can be used as a capacitive pen. This is not a replacement for a digitizer, which is an active uh, device, but this is an interesting device that allows you to use any metallic object you've got around you to control the screen. It's splash proof and dust proof, that's IP21, so it's not waterproof in, in any way. Expandable storage, micro SD slot, I think I forgot to mention that at the be beginning of the uh, video. There's the micro SD slot and the uh, LTE SIM card slot there, that's a micro uh, SIM card slot, sorry, a nano SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. Obviously LTE and we've got this nice kickstand. It's uh, useful for standing the device up and hanging the device as well. And finally, that high contrast screen. But what about some of the uh, negative points of the uh, Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro? Well, the accuracy on the screen wasn't that good, although I find it uh, pretty acceptable for the class of device that this is in. Cameras, well, they're not fantastic. This uh, camera down here, is actually fairly weak in terms of uh, performance and the front camera well useful for Skype maybe but that's about it wobbly card slot flap that's this here it's a little bit wobbly but actually it fits once you've got the hang of it you can actually clip that back in quite tightly quite a high idle power consumption on this and uh, just back to that micro SD slot the speeds on the micro SDs weren't that fast um, so don't expect that to be uh, super fast for app storage. So there you are, that's the Yoga Tab 3 Pro, scoring 86% from us. You can find a full score breakdown and a full review, very detailed review, including all our lab tests at notebookcheck.net, notebookcheck.com for the German version, and the link is in the show notes below this YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and we can send you notifications in your email box when new videos go up. We've got a new format here today. I hope you like that. We're trying to keep it a little bit shorter, a little bit tighter. Your feedback on that would be really helpful as well. My name's Chippy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on another Notebook Check Tech Review.